It's just a piece of ice. No, something's moving on it. Maybe it's a colony of albino seals. Not a gang of marshmallow aliens come to take over the world? Huh, that's silly. But when they do come, I'll be ready. <sighs> wow, a polar bear this far out? With company. That's a Greenland shark. Wow, so cool. And a little bit scary. Once the ice is gone, the bear won't stand a chance. I'm doing it. Doing what? And they call me impulsive? <laughs> okay, what do we do now? Uh... My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectins, and we explore the deep. We've got this. Okay, but hurry. The shark is back. to find a meal when your whole habitat and climate are changing. Whoa. Sea temps here are higher than anywhere else off Greenland. The Davis Strait has never been this warm. Even global warming can't explain these temperatures. How's the bear? Is it okay? What's happening? That was quick. Was the rover stowed properly? It was Anne's turn. Can I do it later? If we break a very important piece of equipment because neither of you secured it, Please! We, we want to see, see the bear. bear! Okay, later. Just make sure you do it. We will. Can you zoom in on him? How do you know the bear's a him? It's obvious. Most male mammals are larger than the females. Not you. The point is, you can't get much bigger than Barry. Barry? No way. I'm going with Arnaluk. It's Inuit, means big woman. Suits our female polar bear, don't you think? But our berry's a bull- It's not ours. It's not a pet. It's wild, powerful, and dangerous. <laughs> Very cute. I'm not denying that. It's a wild animal. Don't get attached to it. Him. Her. It. We need to find somewhere to release it soon. And... Mom, what's he doing? Uh, I'm a marine biologist. Good with fish. Bears? Less so. I'm pretty sure that's not normal. I'm pretty sure you're right. Keiko, I know that look. What look? I don't have looks. You do. And this one says, the biggest land carnivore in the world needs help, and I'm going in there. That's a pretty specific look. Keiko. You're not going in there. You would need a suit of armor. Okay, Mom. Good luck. If you need any help, don't call me. You should have tranquilized Arnaluk. I don't think we have enough tranquilizer for Barry. 
I mean, look at the size of them. And those teeth. Not helping, Ant. Ugh, sorry, Mom. Looks like it's sleeping. Or pretending to sleep to lure its prey closer. Ant? Uh, sorry, again. Don't worry. It's all going really well. No injuries, no parasites. Temps within normal range. Nothing's obviously wrong. That's good. Huh. BMI's high. This animal's not just big. It's carrying a lot of extra weight. Surprising, since food's so scarce. But her behavior is... odd. Maybe he's just totally exhausted. She... Okay, maybe some blood might tell us if there are any toxins in its system. Uh, Keiko, I was already uncomfortable with this. But sticking it with a needle? It'll be okay, Will. You are literally poking the bear! Job. What? Impossible. Now to attach a wireless heart sensor. Is that really necessary? It's still sleeping. I only have to remove a little bit of fur. Sure, shaving a polar bear. How could that end badly? upsetting you, we can change it. Uh, how do you feel about Kevin? Okay, Kevin is clearly worse. Mom, your servo controls have been knocked out. You need to reboot. Hit the emergency power supply. Back off! I said back off! Family. Everyone, come up to the bridge. You're gonna want to see this. We kind of have some news, too. It's kind of hard to say who was the bigger hero, but Mom was very cool. Look! That can't be... kelp? In the Arctic? Tropical fish near ice? That can't be a thing. This is our position in the center of the warmest sea temperatures. Whatever's causing the ice to melt so fast is right under us? Looks like it. The bear's becoming more erratic. I can relate. Me and confinement are incompatible. <laughs> You're incompatible with everything. Only the boring things, Fontaine. Well, the sooner we find out what's causing these sea temperatures, the sooner we can get that bear back into its natural habitat. Poor Barry. Arnaluck. <laughs> Have you had a shower recently? <laughs> Ugh. It's a scientific fact that nearly being eaten by a polar bear can cause a... a perspiration malfunction. 
I'm going out in the rover. Who's with me? Me! Oof, the rover is a confined space. Maybe you should stay. Ah, no fair! And? I'll be running some tests. Heading out too, huh? Sheesh, must be really bad. Let's try the densest part of the kelp first. The source of the heat might be there. You know, you wouldn't be out there so fast if the rover had been inconveniently stowed away. Yes, Ed. Excellent plan. This warmer area only seems to be a few nautical miles wide. But there's no obvious heat source. No volcanic activity, no thermal vents. There is a Jeffrey. He went out to stretch his fins. Normally, Jeffrey would never be able to swim in the Arctic Circle. Stand by. I'm sending out pingers now. Why the pingers, then? A 3D map of the whole area can't hurt. Good thinking. Wow, was that a compliment, Fontaine? Uh, it just slipped out. Any luck? Bear's blood work shows nothing abnormal, but something is. Anything from the heart monitor? Well, that makes no sense. Huh, the pingers are mapping a solid mass under the upper sediment. What's it look like? It looks like... No way! It looks like a giant crab! Something this size would have to be another Monumental! Oh, that's a Monumental, all right. Wow! And it's... Uh, it's a teddy bear crab. They're usually little and really hairy. Wow! Really, really hairy! So the kelp isn't kelp, but in fact, hair. And the surprises keep coming. Barry is definitely female. What? No! I knew it! Are you sure? Pretty sure. Heart rate monitors don't lie. See? Mom? Baby. What? Did you say Barry is going to be a mother? And soon. explains why Arnaluk is so big. Yep, apparently, female polar bears store enough fat to live off for eight months while they nurse their cubs. Wait, she's having her cub on the Aranax? Submarine baby! She can't. The stress of giving birth here could make her lose her cub. That's not happening. I'm setting a course north. We have to find our new home before baby comes. You'll have to hot dock the rover. I won't have time to slow down. <laughs> Excellent. Haven't done that for years. Oh, an ant? Yes, you were right, Vontaine. Pardon? Uh, you were right. <sighs> what a beautiful sentence. Are we thinking this Monumental's been here since Queen Darius put them all to sleep? Probably. And 6,000 years ago, this area was all ice. Not anymore. So maybe today's warming waters caused the crab's metabolism to speed up. And its body temperature rose a degree or two. And that's enough to make a big difference in sea temps here. Wait, does this mean the Monumental's waking up? Maybe, but at this rate it'll take years. We'll come back and check in on it. Sorry to interrupt. The baby's heart rate just went irregular. Hot docking in 10 seconds. Time this just right. Hot ducking. Never boring. Great job, Dad. I found a better ice shelf. Should be there in 20. How's Arna left doing? Can't see her on camera, but both heart rates are very high. <laughs> was that? <laughs> that was me. Ugh. That was not me. Will, the bear's escaped. I say again, the bear has escaped. What's happening? Someone speak to me. Ah! 
myself in. Wait. Rolling over. Yes! Great idea, Ant. Mom, kill the lights! Fontaine, night vision. Shh. Tracker sent in the dark. So she'll come after me. You said yourself. I smell. Big time. Your great idea is to lure her into the moon pool with your aroma? Yes, then we do a barrel roll and our bear floats to the surface. What? No way. What if she gets hurt? Fontaine, we're close enough to land and she is padded. But... Fontaine? I know you're scared for her, but I'm scared for all of you. We need her out of there. Tell me when she's in the pool. <laughs> she's in. Okay, Mom, go for it! All brace. This ice shelf looks stable. There are even ice caves just inland. Perfect dead material. Wait, something's moving in the water between the bear and the shoreline. I can see them. More Greenland sharks. Sonar says there are three. No, four. Sure, this is a cave? It's the one she headed to yesterday. Look! <laughs> so beautiful. So perfect. Okay. Okay. Obviously, the most important thing now is giving this baby a name. 
No, you're banned from naming polar bears. No more berries. We should name it after the person who cared for its mother the most. Uh, I... Aunt, that's actually very sweet. Thank you. The bear shall be named... Jeffrey. What? Jeffrey didn't do anything! He didn't need to. His mere presence inspires us to greatness. <sighs> Look at him! He even looks like a Jeffrey! <sighs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>